Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Patterns make math easy. This video is on how to convert repeating decimal to fraction part one. Talking about convert repeating decimal to fraction, we using pattern. We using pattern. So the pattern we learned is last uh, last video I show you this is the pattern one pattern so one over nine equals zero point one repeating two over nine zero point two repeating right all this one this is a very important pattern so make us very fast the one digit repeating always related to the nine so Let's say if you have a question to convert a repeating decimal if you're given, say, 0 0.6 repeating, or this one you call fraction. So because one digit repeating, this is a 6, .9, 6 over 9, right? If you forgot, you just compare with, compare with 0 0.6 if you change 0 0.6 to fraction, this is a 6 tenths is 6 over 10, right? 6 tenths. So then we have if 0 point, so if you have this one, they say, okay, 0 0.6 repeating, I remember the pattern is 6 over 9, right? The 10 is termina terminating decimal, and if the bottom is 9, become the repeating decimal. And after you got the this one, you simplify, right? Simplify, divide the three, top bottom, you got two thirds, right? That's you got, this is the answer, right? So if we have this situation, you have one digit repeating, but we have, see, if this number is 0 0.14 repeating. The 0 0.1 is, one is not repeating. That means this one actually, it, it, that means 0 0.1, this one is 0 0.1, 4, 4, 4. So only one digit repeating, the 0 0.1 is not with repeating this. So this situation, how to, mostly I want to show you this, how to convert this repeating decimal into fraction. So we can do this, way. we can separate the repeating part with other part. So which is this one is 0 0.10, zero, say 0 0.1 plus 0 0.04 repeat, right? See? If you put the vertical form, it says 0 0.1 plus 0 0.04 repeating, you got the 0 0.14 repeat, right? For repeating. So once you separate the repeating portion with the other portion, then you can see you convert each part into fraction. 0 0.1 is 1 tenth is 1 over 10, right? And this one, be careful this one, because this is 4 as the hundredth digit. That's why when you write this one, you need to write is 4 over 90. The reason is because one digit repeating only related to bottom nine, so four over nine. So because four over nine equals zero point four repeating, but now zero point zero four actually means four over nine divided another ten. So we should put another zero on the bottom, right? So that's why this one is four over ninety, which is. 0 0.4 repeating divided another 10, right? So that's why you got the, this one, you got the 0 0.04, right? Once you understand this piece, then you know and add together. 1 over 10 plus 4 over 90, get the common denominator is 90. You don't need to simplify first. You first, it's easy, 10 and then 90, the common denominator is 90. And this one, you multiply 
So this way you multiply 9 to the bottom, make a 90, top multiply 9 as well. So you have 9 plus 4 is 13, right? It's 13. It's 13. So that's why the answer 0 0.14 repeating is you got 13 over 90. Because 13 is is prime number, so there's nothing you can simplify, right? So we can you can calculate to show you the answer. So you say uh, 13 divided 90 you call 0. Point, right? 0. 0.4, 0. 0.1, 4, 4, 4, which you repeat, right? Okay. And third question, we can try this. So if you have the first one is whole number, let's say two point two point uh, seven, repeat. And this two is whole number, and you separate. You say this is two plus zero point seven repeating, and the zero point seven repeating equals. 7 over 9, right? Then you got the answer is 2 and the 7 over 9, right? This is easy. And the other one, if you do this one, is say uh, 5.3. Let's say this is if you have another repeating, you put the, this is uh, put the one repeating, see, for example, put the one. 5.31 repeating. Only one is repeating. So you separate repeating portion with the other one, other portion, which is, you say this is 5.3 plus 0 0.01 repeat, right? Same thing, right? 5.3 plus 0 0.01 repeating. You got the 5.31 repeat, right? So 5.3 change to fraction is you can change it to 53 over 10. In the 5, 10, 5, 3 tenths, you write a 53 over 10. Also, you can write 5 separate, or you can write the 5 plus. Also, you can write 5 plus 0 0.3, then plus 0 0.01 repeating. And this one gives you 5 plus 0 0.3 is 3 tenths, and 0 0.01 repeating is, you can see this is a 1 repeating, 1 decimal repeating, the bottom is 9, and because the, the, uh, the, this 0 means divided another 10, so it's a 1 over 90, right? Then add these three numbers together, so you got the 5 is mixed number, is bring in front, and these two you make multiply by 9, to the bottom, multiply 9 to the top, you have 27 plus 1 is 28. So you have 28 over 90, right? See? 5 and 28 over 90, but this way you need to simplify. The reason is, this make your easy, you don't need to make, and then this one you see, 28 is even number, 90 also even, you can simplify with 2, and you divide by 2, divide by 2, this one the bottom, divide by 2, top divide by 2, you got this one is 5 and 14 over 45, right? And then this one is simplified, because this is an even number, this is 5, 45 only divided by 5, but 14 is not divided by 5. So this is the answer, right? This is the answer, okay? The other one I want to show you, if you have this situation, it's a question five. If you got a question, uh, repeating that's what you say, okay, this is 10.2853. Uh, repeating, see here. You remember this pattern? Six digit repeating, 28 
285714, right? This is the about divided by 7 pattern, which is I introduced you in the previous video. So we can look at the, this pattern. You have this pattern here, see? All this pattern about the divided by 7, so fraction related. So now, if you have this chart or also, if you remember, you say, okay, this one, because the first digit is 2, actually this one is 2 over 7. See, first digit 2, from 1 over 7 to 6 over 7, all the first digit is different. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. So if the first digit is 2, start the 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, and the 2 over 7. That's why you can write this one equals to 10 plus 2 over 7, see? That equals 10 and 2 over 7. Really easy? Right? If you know the pattern, it's really easy, right? Very easy. So this is part one. I will introduce you more on the next video. Okay. Thank you. And this is presented by Wise Guy.